and you want to know the truth? The truth was, in the last nine playoff games against these Nuggets, champions last year, defending this year, the last nine against the Nuggets all boiled down to this. The Nuggets had Jamal Murray, best closer in basketball, while the Lakers had LeBron James. That's it. I need to say no more, but I will. The Lakers led or were tied in this year's series of five games 75% of the time. I picked the Lakers to beat the Nuggets. Heck, I picked the Lakers to win it all because I really like this roster. I would have liked it a lot better if Jared Vanderbilt, one of the best perimeter defenders in the league, had been able to play, and he could not. I would have liked much more if Gabe Vincent, who was a big shot, taking and making terror for the Miami Heat a year ago, even against Denver in the finals. I wish he hadn't had his knee surgically repaired and missed most of the year. Yeah, I wish they'd had Cam Reddish, Christian Wood. I wish, I wish, I wish, but they didn't. But they were still good enough to lead 75% of the time, lead or tie. It's a lot. In fact, 69% of the time, they flat out led. That had never happened before in NBA playoff history. These Lakers could play with those Nuggets. But in the end, Denver had Jamal, who, by the way, is not, not half the player LeBron is for the first 43 minutes of games. I mean, Jamal shot 29% from three in those five games. Think about that, 29%. Did he make the big ones? You better believe he did. The crucial ones, you got it. The gotta has, kaboom. But LeBron is not half the closer that Jamal is. Not half the closer that Jamal is. The truth was, the Lakers lost games one and two when LeBron pouted and when LeBron missed the game winner. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.